Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. So now that we're a few weeks into the new year, you might be finding some difficulty staying organized and keeping a consistent planner for your life. And uh, I think a lot of us are Absolutely. going through that. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Joining us now is Janine Bobenmoyer with the City Moms to, to tell us some tips and tricks for your perfect planner. Good morning. Good morning. I hope these are the per tips for the perfect planner. We'll definitely see. So going into the new year, of course, so many people have all these New Year's resolutions. Kind of tell us, how can we prepare to get this planner ready? Because I know even myself, I have a planner, but I struggle with mm -hmm. opening it every single day. <laughs> totally understand. <laughs> Tip number one is that studies show you are 50% more likely, 5-0, to actually crush your goals if you're writing them down. So that can be, you know, in a physical planner, kind of one of those hard copy planners, or it could even be like in your phone if you've got um, a notes or calendar app in your phone. So 50%. So what I recommend is starting first by categorizing your goals or tasks. That's really crucial. So start of the week, use your planner to jot down into categories things like home, business, school, and drop those to-dos and tasks under there. For me today, like I have um, projects and I have planning, so get those into categories. Then after you're categorizing, you wanna prioritize them. And that's using the big three method. So this is something that's really well known by organizers and planners. And it basically is a way that you're identifying your top three things you need to do that specific day. In fact, they're so popular right now. That big three idea is Post-it has recently come out with these really cute um, kind of like planning options. And this is their big three. So great way to just jot down your three and put that right into your planner. And I'm loving Post-it right now as well. They've got this noted line that includes things like a whole to-do list. And I know that's a little bright, so you might not be able to see that. Even things like a menu that you can add into your planner. So you just write it down, kind of rip that right off and drop it into your hard copy planner. So categorize and prioritize is our first kind of big chunk there you wanna do. You, you know, you talked about having your phone, using a planner on a phone as well. Yeah. Is, is there one way more effective than the other that uh, research shows? Is, is, is actually physically writing it down better or just uh, checking it off and typing it in on your phones? You know, typically research would show that it is kind of that writing connection, that brain to like hand connection. But we're seeing as generations start to evolve that a lot of them really are kind of gravitating toward that phone planner. So the fact is, as long as you have that noted down somewhere and your brain is able to see and reflect on that, that's where that connection really starts to happen. And, you know, I think the big question that we get a lot is I don't have the time to do some of this. Like I'm finding I'm getting sidetracked on other things. That's where time blocking is super, super important. And I'm going to show you kind of in my planner where I do that. It's where you're actually noting by hour very specific things you want to do in that hour. It's also known as time boxing. But not only do you want to be really noting down like this hour for me is working out um, your brain makes that connection to say this hour is dedicated to this specific task then the other really important thing with time blocking make sure you're giving yourself some buffer you see how i've got this little section here where there's nothing planned that's because i mean all of us have things we need to do like you might need to take um go and get some water you might need to run out and grab the mail whatever it is that you need to do make sure that you're blocking off that time for yourself so tell us a little bit about how we can quickly get in touch with you if we're looking yeah. to, to just learn more about planning. For sure. Find us at thecitymoms.org. We actually have a post up today about our favorite planners and journals for the new year that you can peek at and uh, hopefully get some more inspiration for getting your year planned. All right. Well, thank you so much, Janine. We appreciate you letting us know how we can really plan out the rest of the week all the way to the end of the year, really. Yeah, definitely. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Hi, everybody.